Terry Kennedy was on our show a couple of weeks ago telling us how he overcame near death to become an Iron Man. Now he's taken his goal one step further. Hawaii's Kona Iron Man is the pinnacle of human endurance, which is why earning a spot in the race has been particularly incredible for Terry Kennedy. After everything we've been through as a family, we've been to hell and back. I owe my life to this sport. It saved my life. The race is a gruelling 3.86 kilometre swim, 180 kilometre bike ride and a 42 kilometre marathon, all in sweltering tropical heat. Kona really is one of those toughest races in the world. You've got the event itself and then the overlay of the wind, the heat, the swell of the sea, the absolute starkness of the landscape. It's like landing on the moon. A couple of weeks ago, we brought you the story that helped earn Terry a spot. Back in 2011, Terry's son Archie was born with a life-threatening brain condition and the overweight dad decided to fight his way back to fitness. I was sitting there at about 2am in the morning eating a frozen chicken roll and I caught a glimpse of myself in the, in the mirror and I didn't like what I saw and I thought here's this poor kid up there fighting for his life and I'm just eating myself to death. Then when Terry's father got prostate cancer a few months later, Terry vowed to run his first marathon in his dad's honour. But five days before the race, a stroke and heart attack almost killed him. I was sitting there and unable to, uh, to walk, talk or see and it was at that moment that I realised that I faced death. Since then, Terry's hard work and determination have seen him take on the unthinkable. A year ago I was left without the ability to, to, to walk and uh, here I am today uh, competing in Kona. Through it all, Terry's family have been right behind him. Go Terry! Woo! As a family we knew how important it was and the support that he would need to do something like this. He's just my inspiration and I just love him for what he's doing. 13 exhausting hours after Terry ran into the water, he made it to the finish line. Terry Kennedy, put a hand in Australia. You are an Iron Man, Terry. This is for everyone that faced any adversity whatsoever and wanted to make my family proud and finish the race. Amazing stuff. And Terry Kennedy is winding down now as we speak uh, to him in Waikiki. Uh, Terry, how's the body holding up, mate? And is it strong enough to hold up that enormous medal you've got around your neck? <laughs> it is. That's, uh, that is one uh, ferocious medal, one heavy medal. <laughs> uh, afterwards, after the race, I couldn't quite carry it. I had to give it to my son. It was that, uh, I felt like I had something around my neck that was uh, like a ball and chain. It was a good feeling, but uh, yeah, certainly a, a very heavy medal. Terry, what was the toughest part of the race, or was it all the parts? <laughs> Uh, the swim, the bike and the run, <laughs> no, it, was, um, it was all tough and if I'm honest probably 60 kilometres heading back into um, Kailua Bay there it was absolutely brutal with um, headwinds that were just phenomenal and, I, and that sort of blew me apart. Well you said last time we spoke to you Terry that your wife gives you surprise pictures along the way that you can use to inspire you in those moments where you're just feeling like you've got nothing more to give. What did she surprise you with this time? The night before the race she actually um, there was some emails from all of my friends and family that couldn't be there and she just handed me this envelope and said I suggest you you read these on your own because I was in uh, I was in tears at one part I was laughing because as, as typical mates would have it some were poking fun of me some were uh, some were, were still saying you, you know you might be an Iron Man but you'll always be fat so but you know there was some um, there were some good comments along the way as well Terry, I heard that you got a blister on your back and I thought my god that run must have been tough but how did you get the blister on your back uh, I didn't quite apply the sunscreen appropriately as I should have um, and it is literally the, the size of uh, a small Easter egg. Um, oh. it's, it's not pretty at all. It would make it an R-rated program. Oh. <laughs> oh. And apply, oh. Applying sunscreen would have affected your time though mate, so well done. <laughs> well your family were all there with you at the end, how did you guys celebrate? Had a couple of beers and um, afterwards with the family and some friends and uh, cheat on the, the, the last of the finishes across the line and that's an inspiring moment in itself. If you can imagine the person who finishes in just under 17 hours gets a larger cheer than what the winner does and she was a 73 year old woman as well and to see her cross the line in 16 hours 56 minutes was absolutely awesome. The craziest thing I've heard today is your next Iron Man is planned for when? Uh, December the 8th in Ironman WA in Bustleson so 
uh, I'm taking them on there and signed up for Ironman Australia in, uh, in May of next year in Ironman Cairns and that'll be uh, two years since I was able to walk again and I'll have, uh, as a family, we'll have completed all the Ironmans in Australia and the World Championships, so pretty big goals, Susie. Two Ironmans in eight weeks, mate, that is, that's crazy. <laughs> I haven't done it yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, Terry, we're very proud of you here Amazing. at the project, and thank you so much for sharing your story with us. Thanks, guys. Thanks all the best.